Okay, number patterns, the level 4 topic and equivalent to a grade F, GCSC. Now, uh, got f a few number pattern questions here to look at. We're just going to look at the uh, ideas behind number patterns. To start with, these are what we call sequences. And in a sequence we have terms. We have the first term, we have the second term, we have the third term, and so on, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and this this sequence carried on, we could go to on any other number of terms. Now with these sort of basic questions, we're looking at the difference between the terms, how much is it going up by or going down each time. In this question, it's going up by five each time, so you can fill in the missing numbers by adding five. And the rule to go from one term to the next term, which is called the term to term rule, is add 5 or plus 5. Okay, in this sequence here we've got um, 2.5 going to 3, so the first term going to the second term is going up by 0 0.5. So if we carried that on, went up by 0 0.5 each time, then this term would be 3.5, 4, 4.5, Five, and we're adding 0 0.5 each time to get from one term to the next. Okay, two sequences that are going down. Now, sometimes you have a gap that you've got to figure out what's going down. So if you work out what you go down in total from 52 to 44, I'm going down 8, so I'm taking away 8. Then if you realise you want to go halfway, you take away to get to halfway which would be 48 and we carry that pattern on now we know it's down to 40 to 36 and to 32 okay another uh, sequence that's going down um, it's going down one for every two jumps now we can see what's going on here by taking away 0 0.5 from that one from 8 to 7.5 so if we take away 0 0.5 from 10 we get 9.5 and we get 8.5 and then we carry on here we get 7.0 or just 7. Okay and a slightly more complicated question where we've got um, the decimals in there we've got to work with decimals rather than just um, nice numbers but if we can figure out what we're going up by each time so we're going up from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 which is going up 0 0.6 and we'll just check that works, add on 0 0.6 add on 0 0.6 if I had to find this number I'd have to add on 0 0.6 it would be 15.6 and if I had to do another one I'd get 16.2 and if I was coming back this way to get here I'd have to take off 0 0.6 because from this number I need to add on 0.6 to get the 13.2. Now sometimes decimals are a little bit tricky to look at, but if you think about this as 132 and I'm just taking off 6, that might help to give you 126 or 12.6.